The future of warfare is becoming the present. The Bell V-280 Valor is a tilt-rotor aircraft set to replace the iconic Black Hawk helicopter as part of the U.S. Army's future vertical lift program. At the back end of 2022, Bell's offering was chosen over rifles to see in a new era in military aviation. So why is this aircraft so special, and how does it compare to the similar craft that it beat to become the future U.S. Army assault strategy? But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. In December 2022, the U.S. Army announced it had selected the aerospace company Bell Textron Incorporated to build its future long-range assault aircraft. This ended a journey that stretched back over a decade for the Army. It's a massively important decision for both the Army and for Bell. The story starts in June 2013. Bell announced that their V-280 Valor design had been selected by the U.S. Army for the JMR-TD phase. The JMR stood for Joint Multi-Role and the TD for Technology Demonstrator. This phase was the technology demonstration part needed before the Army's future vertical lift program to introduce their new aircraft for future decades. The Army classified Bell's offering as a Category 1 proposal. This meant it was a well-conceived, scientifically or technically sound proposal that met U.S. Army mission needs. It also meant that the Army saw Bell as a responsible contractor with the competent scientific and technical staff and supporting resources required to get the results needed. In autumn 2013, Bell announced collaborations with other engineers to bring the Valor to life. The most significant of these was with Lockheed Martin. They would provide integrated avionics, sensors, and weapons to the aircraft. Moog Incorporated was then nominated to provide the flight control systems. GE Aviation would be responsible for the engines. The tail structure would be courtesy of GKN. Spirit Aerospace Systems would provide the composite fuselage. The distributor of hydraulics and power generation systems would be provided by the Eaton Corporation. And Astronics Advanced Electric Systems were set to design and manufacture the power distribution systems. AVX Aircraft, Karam Aircraft, and a Sikorsky Boeing team entered with Bell for the next phase of selection. As part of this, all teams received $6.5 million to help with development of prototypes to allow for flight demonstrations. It's reported that Bell added their own money to this pot to help with this development. In October 2013, a full-scale mock-up of the V-280 Valor was shown to the U.S. Army. The tilt rotor design represented a big departure from the Black Hawk it was set to replace. But despite this, Bell was still in the running to be selected as the U.S. Army's primary assault aircraft. They continued with the selection process, and at this point, it was narrowed down to the Valor and a Boeing Sikorsky team offering the SB-1 Defiant as its main rival. Both were targeting test flight demonstrations for 2017. Bell demonstrated a full-scale mock-up of the Valor at AUSA 2014, which gave a first look at configuration and design of the vehicle. Here, it showed itself to be heavily focused on transporting infantry squads, and despite it not having the traditional helicopter design, it was built to handle much like a helicopter, but with unprecedented pitch, roll, and yaw response. By 2017, a demonstrator aircraft had been ready for testing, which represented the Valor being 95% complete. By the end of April 2018, it had reached 160 miles per hour, 257 kilometers per hour, with over 75 hours of ground testing and 19 hours up in the air. After a year of testing, it had reached 320 miles per hour, 515 kilometers per hour, which was its target, and continued pushing its test of flight envelope, low speed agility, bank angles, and autonomous operations. Eventually, the aircraft would reach 350 miles per hour, 563 kilometers per hour, in testing a few months later. The most notable design feature of the V-280 is its tilt rotor. Just like a helicopter, the Valor takes off and lands with its propellers tilted upward, but during flight, they can be rotated 90 degrees to a forward position. It then looks more like a traditional propeller-driven fixed-wing aircraft, 
This allows the convenient takeoff and landing positions of a helicopter, especially in urban environments, but it can also fly faster and take advantage of the increased fuel efficiency of a fixed-wing craft. The V-280 doesn't compromise the ability to carry payloads. It can carry up to 14 combat troops, whereas its predecessor could only carry three. According to reports, the Valor has a range of 575 to 920 miles, 925 to 1480 kilometers combat loaded, and a self-deployment range of 2400 miles, 3862 kilometers. This represents twice what the Black Hawk is capable of in both respects. This is a huge improvement for the Army that wanted faster deployment with more troops. The increase in range is also very significant. The Valor can fly farther while needing fewer forward arming and refueling points. This means that put up against enemies with long-range weapons, for example, the Russian BM-27 Urigan multiple launch rocket system, the V-280 can be out of missile range while still flying missions. This also means the aircraft could fly missions across Europe or the South China Sea using its tilt rotor to hop from one islet to another. There's also another advantage to Bell's new offering, the advantage of remote flying. The Ukrainian war has shown plenty of danger to helicopter crews, as tens have been shot down in warfare. Remote operation reduces the risk to life. In 2020, a test flight was carried out with an entire flight profile from takeoff to landing, and a pilot didn't touch the controls once. Autonomous flights will help complete more missions as resupply missions can be done without the human crew needing to intervene. This means they can rest before their next mission. The Bell V-280 Valor is similar to another tilt rotor aircraft courtesy of the Bell. This is the V-22 Osprey. But how do they differ? The main difference is size. The Valor is designed to support infantry operations. The V-22 is considered a medium to heavy assault support and utility aircraft which means the V-22 is expected to lift more. In fact, it can carry 24 versus the 12 troops the V-280 can carry. Another key difference is in the way in which the engines interact with the tilt rotors. The V-280's engines don't actually rotate at the end of its wings. This is what happens with the V-22. Instead, the engines remain in place while the rotors and drive shafts tilt. But there are some similarities in late 2021, Bell and Rolls-Royce jointly announced that the V-280 Valor power plant would switch from the T-64 turboshaft used on the prototype to a version of the Rolls-Royce T-406AE 1107C used on the Osprey. It was named the AE-1107F. This increased the power of the power plant from 5,000 to 7,000 horsepower. It was chosen due to its use on the V-22 and was thought to minimize risk going into full production. All of this makes it easy to see why the V-280 was chosen by the U.S. Army to be the future of assault aircraft. It's a class above the Black Hawk and offered more than the Defiant X from Sikorsky Boeing. It's also proved itself to be a reliant addition to the Army's fleet and is set to become a mainstay for decades to come. The Army has said that the Valor will potentially replace approximately 2,000 Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk utility helicopters and 1,200 Boeing AH-64 Apache attack helicopters. If that's the case, then the Bell V-280 is set to become a definitive military aircraft for the 21st century. What are your thoughts on the Bell V-280 Valor? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.